Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 117. 117. It says something else in my notes, so I have to fix it before I forget. I wrote down just 17. Day 3117. 3 is to signify the fact that we are in the third edition. Third edition, day 117. We are on the topic of permutations versus combination. And today is our seventh series, seventh video in the series of 10. If you're interested in watching the first first five, I did it in two, I did it in two separate parts. The first five are from day number 96 through 100, day 3096 to 3100, where you're going to find the videos, the first five videos. Yesterday we did the sixth video and today is the seventh one. We'll do problem number eight. Problem number eight that appears under data analysis exercises on page number 321. On page number 321, let's take a look at it. It says, and we, um, and we are calling it 8a we're gonna, because we're going to do a few more parts. So 8a, it says how many three-digit positive integers, how many three-digit positive integers are odd and do not contain the digit 5. Do not contain the digit 5. Make sure the book is in front of you. Make sure the book is in front of you. Read the problem yourself. So let's begin, shall we? So here are, here are the three-digit positive integers. We have three-digit positive integers. What are the conditions? Conditions is that we cannot have 5 in it. That's the first conditions. We cannot have 5. So how many different ways can we fill up first spot? Well, if we cannot have 5, there are 10 digits, it must be 9 ways to fill up the first spot. Is it correct? The answer is no. There are no, We do not have 9 ways to fill up the first spot because it's a 3-digit number. 3-digit number. This is not a 3-digit number. This is not a 3-digit number. This is just 53. That does not count as a 3-digit number. This is just a 2-digit number. In other words, if it if it's a three-digit number, we can't have a zero in the first in, in the first in the hundred in the hundred hundred place. Do you understand? Which means we can't have zero here in this spot. We can't have we can't have zero, and we can't have and we can't have five. We can't have five anywhere. This is, does not contain five. But in the first spot, we can't have zero either. So there are only eight different ways of filling up the first first spot. Now let's do the second condition. The first condition was that uh, it has it, it cannot have five in it, so we just did that. A three-digit three-digit number without the five, so we fulfill the first condition here. The second condition we have to fulfill is that it has to be odd, which is which has to do with the last last place here. If if if, if it needs to be odd, let's make a list here so that we don't get confused. This has to be odd, which means the unit digit unit digit. Cannot, cannot be a 1 or a 3 or a 5 or a 7 or a 9. Oh no, it has to be odd. Sorry, it doesn't say, it doesn't say the unit digit must be, unit digit has to be odd. Unit digit has to be odd. If it has to be odd, if the unit digit must be odd, that leaves us with only five choices. If it has to be, if, if the three-digit number has to be odd, it has to end in either one or a three or a five or a seven or a nine. Except the problem here is that we are told that we can't have five. The five is not allowed. Five cannot appear anywhere. So how many different ways can we fill up the unit digit? Well, it has to be odd and it can't have five, which means there are only four choices. We can either have one or three or seven or nine. How many different ways can we fill up the middle spot? Well, typically, there are 10 digits, 0 through 9, 0 through 9 we have 10 digits, but we can't have 5. In this part, no 5, no 5, which means there are only 9 choices. That's it, that's our answer. The answer is 32 times 9. 32 times 9, 32 times 10 is 320, so 3, 2, 3, if you subtract, if you subtract, if you take away 132 from it, uh, 11 minus, uh, looks like 288 looks like 288 different ways we can have a three digit positive integer such that it happens to be odd and does not have five in it. Let's do one more. 
Let's do one more. Five B. And this time, after I finish writing the problem on the blackboard, I would like you to pause the video, pause the video, do the problem yourself, and then once you have done it, we'll compare your work against the work that you and I will do together. Do you understand? Here, here's the question. It says, if if we were if we were to pick a three-digit number, three-digit positive integer, just like before. Question is, what are the odds that it turns out to be even and has no 4 in it? One more time. Let's erase this thing that we have, we have done with because it's, 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 it looks ridiculous. So let's read one more time. It says, among all the positive three-digit integers, positive three-digit integers, three-digit whole numbers, positive ones, if we were to simply pick one at random, simply at random if we were to pick one, what are the odds that it happens to be even and has no four in it anywhere? It doesn't have a four in it. I'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Do the problem yourself and then we'll compare your work against, as I said, against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds time. Okay? Hold on. Let's do it together. Let's first find out how many such integers are there, three digit integers that is, that fulfill these two conditions, the fact that it has to be even and does not contain 4 in it. Let's first find that out. So here are the, here are the three digits. Let's first take care of the unit digit. It has to be even. It has to be even. Unit digit must be even. Unit digit must be even. In other words, it has to end in either a 0 or a 2 or a 4 or a 6 or an 8. That's the first condition. It has to be even. The second condition is that it can't have 4 in it. It says if we were to pick, it says if we were to pick 3 digit positive integer, if we were to pick 3 digit positive integer, what are the odds that it turns out to be even and has no 4 in it? So it can't have 4. That leaves us with only four choices. We can either end it, we can either have it end in a zero or a two or a six or an eight. So that part is done. Let's work on this hundred digit here. Well, if it's a three-digit number, it's just like before, if it's, if it's a three-digit integer, we can't have zero three five. That's not a three-digit integer. That's a two-digit integer, which means we can't have a zero here. We can't have zero here in this place. And we can't have 4. We can't have 0, we can't have 4. How many choices are left? There are 10 digits altogether. We have only 8 choices. We have only 8 choices. How many different ways can we fill up the middle spot? Well, there are 10 digits, so there must be 10 choices. Because there are 10 digits, 0 through 9, there are 10 digits. We have, we have to pay attention. That's wrong. We, don't have, we do not have 10 choices to fill up the middle spot. Because again, no 4. We can't have 4. We can't have 4 anywhere. So we don't have 10 choices. We only have 9 choices. We can, we can put any of the 9 digits here. Any of the other 9 digits. As long as we don't put a 4 here. Because 4 cannot appear anywhere. There you go. These are the choices here. So that's, uh, that's going to be our numerator. So we're done with that part. We're going to erase all of this thing here. We're done with it. That's our, that's our numerator. As I said, let's figure out how many, what, what we have in denominator. So now we will work on the denominator. We have a we have a three-digit number. We have a three-digit number. How many different ways can we fill up the first spot? Well, nine ways. Again, as we said before, we can't have a zero in the front. How many different ways can we fill up other two digits? Well, thus we have ten digits here. Ten digits for the, any of the ten digits can go here, and any of the ten digits go here. But these are the total. This is how many total three-digit positive integers there are. Nine hundred. There are nine hundred three-digit positive integers. 900 of them. Do you understand? 
three digit positive integers will go all the way from from 100 to 999 and we cannot simply and we cannot simply subtract we cannot simply subtract 100 from 900 100 from 999 and probably claim that there are 899 positive integers no there are 900 there are 900 of them you understand just like if somebody asks you how many positive integers are there how many positive integers are there 1 through 1 through 10 from 1 to 10 how many positive integers are there we cannot probably tell the person that there are 9 of them because by subtracting 1 obviously there are not 9 positive integers from 1 through 10 there are 10 of them we cannot simply subtract that you understand we have to add 1 to it after we do the subtraction so there are 900 such that we are done those are the odds those are the odds that if you were to pick one integer at random a one three digit positive integer at random these are the odds that that three digit integer that we, that we pick happen to be such that it has no four in it and it happens to be even number. Let's simplify, shall we? Oh, that's very simple. Nine goes with a nine. What else can we do here? Let's do whatever it is that we can do instead of thinking about it. Four is going to go into this thing. Five. That becomes two. I shouldn't forget it. I almost forgot it. This two can go with this thing. Five. And that's about it. That's about it. Eight out of twenty-five. 8 out of 25 8 out of 25 let's multiply top and bottom by 4 let's multiply top and bottom by 4 so we end up with 32 over 100 which means the odds are 32 percent there's about 32 percent chance about approximately 1 out of 3 times 1 out of 3 times if you were to pick one 3 digit positive integer at random it will be such that, first of all, it will be even and that it will not have 4 in it. The exact answer, of course, is 32%. Do you understand? It's not 1 out of 3, exactly. Tomorrow we'll do problem number 9. Do you understand? Bye now.